I'm Scott Flowers with Cloud Ninjas. Today we're going to continue our series on the HPE ProLiant DL360 Gen 9. In this video we're going to specifically focus on power supplies. Let's get going. Well hey, thanks for stopping by today. Tell a little bit more about the HPE ProLiant DL360 Gen 9 server. In this video we're going to specifically focus on power supplies. So let's just hop in. So this will be one of the quickest videos in our series uh, because power supplies there's not a lot going on. So you have three options. You got your 500 watts, your 800 watts, and your 1400 watts. 1800 watt is kind of your sweet spot that realistically is going to get most people what they need. Your 1400 watts, if you're doing something very extreme, right? You need a ton of a ton of power to do that. But realistically, 800 watts is your sweet spot. Make sure both power supplies are the exact same. You can't mix and match. You can't throw a 500 and a 1400 in and think it's going to be okay. Just make sure you have the same. That's about it. There's not a lot that's too complicated about the power supplies. So what we're going to do is we're going to actually physically install one for you, which is again is super easy because they're hot swap and they just pop in and out and you just move a little tab over. So again, super quick, super easy video. So what we'll do first is we'll do a quick close up to show you the power supplies and then we'll actually pop them in and show you how easy it is to install them. All right, so here are your options that we just discussed, 500, 800, 1400. Not much going on here, right? So uh, you got a couple of options depending on what you want. Uh, your base is generally going to be two 500s. You can upgrade to two 800s, which is a great sweet spot. And again, two 1400s for high performance. So let's go ahead and pop one in and show you just how easy it is to upgrade or to replace a bad power supply. And it takes a matter of seconds. And on that note, if you do have a bad power supply and you do need something overnighted, we offer overnight services. When you go to our website, you can check out and buy a power supply with overnight services. So let's go ahead and pop one in. All right, I put on my ISTE gear. So one of the things that I want to point out again is make sure that you are upgrading or installing or replacing the same wattage. So right now I have two 500 watt in. So let's say this one is bad. Just push right here. Again, push right here and then slide this out. So when you slide it out, it'll just come in and out. Sometimes you get a little stuck, but it's, again, not nothing a little elbow grease can't fix, but it slides in and out. And so say this one's bad, and we need to replace this. So I have my 1400, my 800, and my 500. I need to grab my 500 because that's what's already in there, right? So just make sure, again, that you get the exact same so you don't have any issues. When you put them in, just push this back and shove it in and just that easy that's how easy it is to swap out your power supply and again i'll do it one more time if you want to pull this back out if you want to shove it back in and technically you don't even have to push it in but you can just shove it back in and it'll click into place but i like to just make it a little bit easier to push it back in and that's it that's how easy it is to swap out a bad power supply so if you made it this far hey click that like smash that subscribe if you're looking for new replacement power supplies contact our sales team and if you want a custom built HPE, Dell, Supermicro, IBM, Cisco server. We do new, we do used. We'd love the opportunity to earn your data center or your home lab's business. Please email us at sales at cloudinch.com. That's sales at cloudinch.com. Thanks for stopping by, guys. Take care.